The next exercise series that we're going to go through is uh, part of the retraining of the entire hip complex, specifically proprioception within the hip. Um, a lot of the research uh, related to ACLs uh, is coming out uh, with a lot of uh, background around the glute medius and about the hip and proprioception around the hip. One of the things that we have found is with our athletes and really our general population is that a lot of times they lose the sense of awareness in their hips. And so one of the things that we want to do is we want to retrain that awareness in the hips. And if that has gone on for a while, uh, then, it, then uh, retraining that can sometimes be a little bit difficult. So the first thing that we do is we do, uh, in, in the very first session, along with the squat neuromuscular retraining, is we do the lumbar hip dissociation exercise or series, uh, which starts at a very low level and then will go to a very high level of progression. This exercise series does not seem like that much, and so it's really, really important especially with our younger athletes, our college athletes, our high school athletes, and sometimes even your professional athletes, that you let them know that this is actually a pretty aggressive exercise. Because uh, from a clinician standpoint, one of the things that you run into is that as we get more progressive with this exercise, it looks very, very easy, but it's actually very difficult. And a lot of athletes get very, very frustrated because they fail at this exercise pretty quickly. So it's important to let them know that when you do this exercise, not in the lower levels, but when you do this exercise in the higher levels, your glutes are going to be on fire. And so don't get frustrated if you're having a really hard time doing this because this exercise is designed to be an endurance exercise for the glute medius. One of the things, most injuries occur later in the game. Most injuries occur later in the ski day. Part of that is an endurance issue, and so this exercise is going to work on a lot of endurance around the hip uh, in the hip complex. So the first part of this exercise is what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take a stride stance, kind of in a semi-lunge position. So what we're going to ask our athlete to do is kind of a, a slight bend in the knee, uh, and then uh, hands on their hips, and I find that the hands on the hips are really a uh, it's a good thing to give some uh, awareness of where your hips are at. Opposite foot is just kind of back and just basically kind of just giving a little bit of stability back here. And all you're going to do is you're going to roll inward and you're going to roll outward. And the key with this is, and you'll notice that he did it when he, when he did it, go ahead and do it again, is that he rolls his knee. He rolls his knee inward and he rolls his knee outward. The key with this exercise is to stabilize your knee, slight bend in your knee, and keep your knee in that position. Don't let your knee go out of that position at all. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll your hip in, and you're going to roll your hip out, all the way out. Okay, and you're going to roll your hip in, and you're going to roll your hip out. That's two. We're going to do ten of those. And as easy as this looks, is actually, now you'll see there, he's starting to rotate the lumbar spine. So what we want to do is we want to come in and give him some cueing. We want you to roll your hip in. We want you to roll your hip out. Don't let that knee move. Roll that hip in and roll that hip out, okay? And what we're doing is we're starting to not only give that hip proprioception, but we're also facilitating contraction of the glute medius with this exercise. A lot of athletes, if they have glute medius weakness, have a really difficult time facilitating a contraction of that glute medius. And so this exercise is basically a starting point by which we can start to facilitate that contraction. 